having a lovely time. Culinary gallery. And guess what we're doing next? Shrimpy poo. Shrimpy poo we're Aren't doing. We Julia. Oh, we're doing everything cooked in beer today. We is. And uh, I forgot to mention, or I didn't forget, but we'll get on to it. Uh, the beer that I'm cooking, that we are all cooking with today, well, Julia and Julia, anyway, <laughs> is the Yingling. The Yingling Lager. Now, this is the oldest beer brewed in America. This is the very first one. They started brewing it in Pennsylvania. And the first um, one. during the time of Prohibition, they kept brewing. They didn't call it beer. They called it something else. But they also canned water and they canned colas. So this brewery has been the oldest. It's the oldest one continuously in America. And they got. They had a big fight with uh, some other brand. Starts with a B. Uh, recently, about the use of the eagle on their label. But they won because they had copyrighted it because they never stopped brewing through prohibition. So, so there's a little trivia for you. Anyway, it's um. We're going to do this the fancy way, just like that. Good old American screw cap. And you can look right. and see, it's, um, it's a nice golden color. It's a little bit darker. Hang on, dear. It's all good. Oh, now, lovely, we're going to do peel and eat shrimp. And this is what we're going to do. The shrimp are um, a 36 to 50 counts. So they're nice size. And these are local shrimp. Got them uh, from the local shrimper, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> and no. So they're good size, and you're just going to actually pour them right in. Now, in my beer, I have smashed up fresh garlic yeah. and uh, cut finely diced jalapenos. Looks like uh, oh, I lost my hand, but that, that thing rolling across the, the front of the table. Hang on. Professional show. There's fresh squeezed lemon juice of a whole lemon, yeah. and a little bit of garlic salt, a little salt and pepper, and uh, of course. If you're from the Northeast, you use Old Bay. Now, some people don't believe in using it. They like to make their own whatever Old Bay. For, for, for me, for peeling shrimp, it's the best. Put it in liberally. Fine. Pour it all in there. Woo it's all good, delicious. We actually got that them in there already. Enough, dear. Yes. And then you're just going to put it on the pot. Now, put it on the stove, rather. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the beer to a boil and mm -hmm. then add your shrimp. Mm -hmm. And your shrimp, you're only going to cook until it's fully pink. That's it. If it looks like it's starting to bust at the seams, then it's overdone. Not long. Once you finish that, it comes to a pinkness, you're going to pour it right off and chill it right down as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. Put it over ice, put it in uh, ice water, however you want to do it. Um, absolutely delicious. Then you serve it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're going to serve it up with today is a little homemade cocktail sauce, the very basics. We're going to use ketchup. We're going to use a really good horseradish. And uh, just to add a little touch to it, this is called Submission Hot Sauce. Woohoo! Do not get this on your fingers in any way, shape, or form. And if you do, wash your hands 16 times and it's don't hot. touch your face. Trust me, I know this from experience, as you can yep. imagine. Now, this stuff is really hot. Now, where we got this at? Cocoons. We got cocoons. We did. So go, go see them down there. It was about $4 or something like that. But that stuff will last you for about 10 I, I years did put a because bit it in is there already, so... Oh, you did? I did already. All right. So well, good hot. thing she told me because you don't want to do it. <laughs> I put just a little, so it's up to you. What you want to use oh, is absolutely it. one drop. If you're going to make a thing of cocktail sauce this big, you're literally going to put dip your oh, then I did toothpick plenty. in. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going to get a little bit more than that on it, but you're going to dip it in and give it a good stir and that's going to be plenty of heat. Now we like yeah. to at our house actually put a little drop of this in our ketchup for regular use. We do. So it's if you like, like hot stuff. Exactly. So if you're it's into that hot thing. It's pretty good stuff. It contains that African hot pepper though, which is the really hot one, you know. You know the one that it's homie went on. Uh, oh, not good. Yeah. Not messy. Halluc up. Hallucinogenics, but, exactly. But one drop is all you need to do a big hot chili if you really wanted to do that stuff. So it's really good. And that's what you're going to do. Now we're going to take another. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to go right on to. Did you want to put your shrimps in there? Or you no, we got to get a boil in first. Okay. So okay. we'll go off and do that. But how? what are we going to. What else are we going to do? Over here, we got some brats and beer we're getting ready to do. Mm. I've got some onions some peppers. Mm -hmm. Snap does not like me. What's that you got? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing over here is some brats and beer. So what I've got are some peppers, some green, some yellow, some red, mm -hmm. all chopped up, and some onions as Did well. Did you julia Julia them. them. We julia them. Jolly good. Yes. What we're going to add to this, we're going to take two cloves of garlic. Yes. Using the big one. Those are huge. I know. We're gonna is that heffalum garlic? I'm not going to smash this one. Is it, is it heffalum garlic? <laughs> 
Just she, beat the stuff yeah, out of they, they taught us that in culinary school. Oh, wait a minute. Home. I missed that day. She's, yeah. a, she's a subcontractor well, part-time. What we have here is a little bit of Italian seasoning. We're going to put some of that in. Mm -hmm. Of course, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yum! And over here we've got some paprika, which is sweet paprika, which mm -hmm. is going to go very well with the brats. It's so popular in Czechoslovakia. And then just to add a little bit of heat, we're going to add some red pepper flakes. Oh, none of that other stuff. No, we're not going to do the jalapenos in that one, I guess. No jalapenos oh, there. Perfect. And then we're going to take our brats. We are. We are, we are. We're going to set them in. And shove we're them gonna in, dear. Shove them in. And we're going to use the yingling as well when we do these. So we're going to yeah. take these back to the kitchen, get them on the fire in a pot, yeah. add our beer, and get them boiling. And those you can boil all at the same time, yes, right? Yeah, you don't absolutely. have to get the bring it, bring it up to a boil. No, it all's going to go together. All the flavors are going to yeah. meld, and it's going to be just delicious. And yeah. you, can serve those, you can serve those over mashed potatoes. You can put them yeah. in a hoagie roll if you want. It sounds a awesome. There's, you can do a lot of different things with it. So it's just going to be great flavors all together. And those look really fresh, those brats. You got those fresh. Fresh idea. Very good. Good. Yeah, Fabulous. Everything's always fresh. So right. we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, I'm going to get out the Guinness and cook with that. We're going to make ourselves a Guinness, what do they call it again? Shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie. Shepherd's pie, that thing. <laughs> Although it's not really shepherd's pie because it's, it's not made with lamb. Well, true, but it'll work. Okay. You're going to love it. It'll See you in a minute. All right. We'll be back. Cheers. 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 Mine seems to be getting smaller. What's that all about? Mm -hmm. 